the glass factory was built in 2002. Um, we actually inherited the space. It was a car dealership. And uh, the, the two owners, Jim McKelvey and Doug Auer, uh, Doug Auer was teaching glass at Washington University, and Jim McKelvey was a traveling glass artist. Um, and they decided to buy this space. They, people, a lot of people ask questions about whether or not the title third degree refers to a third degree burn, <laughs> um, but it doesn't. Uh, Jim likes to say that it actually refers to the third degree, which his lawyer gave him when they decided to buy the place because it was kind of run down. Uh, so they spent a long time whipping it into shape and then decided to start teaching glass blowing classes to um, throughout the St. Louis area. So we are the only uh, open access glass art studio in St. Louis, which means members of the public can come down anytime that we're open. Um, and we're open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Saturday. So we've got nice steady hours that people can come down and, and watch this art happening right in front of them. So it's, it's pretty nice. We get um, all sorts of people coming down to the studio specifically to watch the, the glass art. We get uh, tour groups from all over the country, from schools all over the country. We get uh, senior citizen groups. We have people who have their wedding receptions here. Um, we're also an event venue, so we get rented for like corporate events and things like that. And I think one of the biggest draws for us as a venue is that we have glass art going on. Um, not just the artwork in the gallery, but people can actually sign up to make things, which is really exciting for people. It's, it's not very often that you get the opportunity to make a glass artwork, so um, that's pretty fun. And then we also have an open house every third Friday of the month, and that draws in anybody that you could possibly imagine. Um, because it is such a, it's a fun date night, it's a fun family night, people bring their kids out. We have um, a fire troupe that performs out in the courtyard, so we get a big draw for the fire performers as well. They're the St. Louis fire technicians. Um, and we always have a live band, and uh, even outside of the glass artwork, artwork that we have here, we also um, have a two-dimensional visiting artist every month so uh, it's a pretty big event and it draws in a wide variety of people. We have a variety of classes here and uh, they range in time and commitment and, uh, and tuition from just a one-day half an hour session to a, our full six and eight week courses. We also have flame working, which is where you are working on a small torch with uh, glass rods and you make beads and shapes and small sculptures. So all the jewelry here was also made here in our flame working studio. And then we also have kiln working, which is flat glass and um, fusing. Some people liken it to stained glass, but it, you get more depth because you're actually layering the glass. Uh, so. We have classes in all three of those, and um, you can all, we also have uh, what we call private activities, where people can just call and uh, schedule in advance to come down with a group of their friends and make something. So we have a lot of people that come in for private sessions. All of the work in the gallery was made by professional artists that have worked out of our studio. Um, every once in a while we get a student that's been working for a while and has, has gotten their technique um, pretty has has done a lot to improve their technique and then they uh, will talk to one of the directors about showing their work in the gallery as well. Um, we do have uh, once a year a student show as well in our in our visiting artist gallery but the work for sale in our gallery is by professional artists.